What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake, and in today's video, we're going to talk about Nexa. We're also going to talk about how to fix varying hash rates on some of your AMD cards, perhaps the 6600 and 6600 XT, not having the same hash rates across all of those GPUs on Nexa. Then we're going to take a look at the market, we're going to take a look at profitability, and then we're going to talk about AMD issuing a recall for their 7900 XTX. So you know the drill. Do me a favor, hit the like and hit the subscribe if you haven't already. And sorry about the noise. I am mining Nexa at the moment and it uses a lot of fans because it does run a little bit warmer than Caspa and Radiant. So anyways, moving on, let's take a look at the market right now. So for me, it's late. It's midnight. I need to go to bed, but I wanted to get this video out to you guys. And at the time of recording, it's midnight and it is January 5th, 2023. Bitcoin is coming in at 16,848, Ethereum at 1,254, XRP at 34 cents, Dogecoin at 7.4 cents, Cardano at 26 cents, Polygon at 80 cents. And we've got Solana at $13.31, starting to give back some of those gains we've had for the week. Let's go ahead and take a look at Caspa and a few of the others. So Caspa is uh, at about break even over the last 24 hours at 0 0.004915. And then we've got Radiant down another three and a half percent at point zero 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 seven two nine nine and then we've got flux up three percent sitting at point five two which is the highest it's been in a while uh, looks like the last time we were there was roughly around December 9th approximately and then lastly we'll take a look at Neoxa real quick so Neoxa is up almost 5% for the day at 0 0.001. And then also, since we're looking at prices, let's go ahead and take a look at Nexa because it had a nice little pump today. Looking at the one hour chart, we are currently sitting at 0 0.00000189. And over the course of the last 24 hours, we pumped about 40 to 45 percent we were sitting at 0 0.00000154 and we got all the way up to 256 and we're giving back some of that now but i think that's coming on the news of something very interesting that i'll show you here in just a moment but let's go ahead and take a look at what to mine so right now on a single 3070 at 10 cents per kilowatt hour radiant is coming in at negative six cents as well as lithium Casper coming in at negative 11 cents, Ergo negative 12 cents, and ETHW negative 16 cents. Where's Flux at? That's odd. Flux should be up towards the top here. There it is. Negative 17 cents. Interesting. You know what? Let's go ahead and pull up Flux difficulty real quick and see if it's spiking. Yes. Yes, it is. It is up considerably. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the year. Wow! Okay, that's a surprise to me, as it's probably a surprise to you guys right at this very moment. Interesting. Very interesting. Anyways, moving on, let's take a look at some of the top headlines from today on Cointelegraph. So first, why is the crypto market up today? Next, bonk token goes bonkers as traders chase after high yields in the Solana ecosystem, and we've got U.S. Congress investigations into FDX are in limbo without a House Speaker, and if you guys have been paying attention to that, it's been a complete fiasco. We can't seem to agree on who the House Speaker should be. And then we've got price analysis for quarter, BTC, ETH, BNB, XRP, Doge, ADA, Matic, DOT, LTC, and Uniswap. And we've got Bitcoin analyst identifies new key levels as Ethereum price nears three-week high. Uh, let's see what else we got. U.S. authorities seizing 460 million in Robinhood shares tied to FTX. 
And we've got celebrities who got burned endorsing crypto and those that got away with it. And then judge rules Celsius owns funds in earn accounts, paving the way for stablecoin sale. So, yeah, let's move on and let's talk about Nexa for a little bit. So, right now, on my farm, we're getting about 745 mega hash, 3300 watts in software at seven cents per kilowatt hour. That would be a profit of seven dollars and 14 cents per day. Let's go ahead and take a look at a 3070 real quick. So, that would be about 30 mega hash at I think 115 watts at 10 cents per kilowatt hour. Let's see if we turn a profit here. <clears throat> this may take just a moment. Yeah, roughly 17 cents profit per day on a 3070. So not bad. Uh, taking a look in the Discord, I think the reason that Nexa is pumping today is because of this announcement from Paul in their Discord, which says, I thought you might like to check out some of the work I've been doing on the token minting tool I plan to have built within a month or so. It's unfinished, but hopefully it gives you an idea of what the final product will look like. The goal is to make token minting and eventually management on Nexa so easy your grandma could do it. So let's just play this little video here real quick. Sorry, I know this is small. So yeah, essentially it's just walking you through the process, adding your coin ticker symbol, uh, dragging your files in here, the documents, you set your coin price, your quantity, and it does look very simplistic. And as far as you know, minting tokens on their chain, uh, yeah, I would say that's a pretty freaking big deal. Um, now, if you're not familiar with the team behind Nexa, I believe that is Bitcoin Unlimited. Here you can see a few of the devs here. I don't see Paul anywhere in here. I'm not exactly sure what the relationship is between Bitcoin and Unlimited and Nexa, um, but I believe Paul pointed me towards them when I asked him some questions in regards to some things that I was seeing. And I've mentioned this on the channel a few times, and that is my frustration with the fact that there is only one miner and one pool. I guess technically there's two pools, but everybody's mining to our plant. And that is because of a monopoly that it appears, and you know, this is just speculation, so take this with a grain of salt, but uh, from discussions that I've had with others, it appears as though uh, Wild Rig and our plant have implemented something preventing other people from mining to our plant. Um, I believe this is currently getting worked out. We should have a new miner and perhaps some new pools in the very near future. Um, but you know, can can we expect someone to give up their monopoly if it's not in their best interest? You know, I guess that comes down to morals in a way. Um, it's tough to say what I would do in that scenario. Uh, I think they've made their decision and they're going to stick to it whether we like it or not. But the good news is, is it's not going to last forever. We will have an additional pool and we will have additional miners in the very near future. I've been talking to some of the devs from the other miners and... Uh, hopefully, it will be here sooner rather than later. Uh, also, just so you guys are aware, uh, there is a spreadsheet with all of the varying overclocks and all of the different hash rates across all of the different GPUs. Uh, some of them are accurate. Some of them are not so accurate. But for the most part, they should get you close. Um, and the tip that I wanted to share with you guys is in regards to... 6600s and 6600 XTs, as well as perhaps some other AMD cards. If you are struggling with getting the same hash rate or close to the same hash rate across several of the same GPUs, that is most likely a result of an issue with Hive and the drivers for AMD. 
Now previously in, in other videos where I was showing you guys my rigs, what we were seeing in the 6600 rig was this particular GPU was at about 15 mega hash, this one was at about 7, and the rest of them were somewhere between 3 and 4 mega hash. And they weren't using the correct power. It was just all over the place. But uh, apparently it's been figured out and I want to share the fix with you guys. Now, uh, this is going to be pinned in Discord, but let me go ahead and see if I can pull this up for you guys. So I think it's in the mining pinned messages. Yeah, here we go. So you need the latest Hive OS to be installed. Uh, at least this or later and then also your drivers for AMD need to be updated as well and you just simply need to run this command right here so you want to stop the miner run the command let it finish reboot and then start the miner again and what you're going to see is down here where your uh, drivers are located for AMD uh, you should be on 22.20 at least. So if you're not on at least that driver version, then you are going to run into those issues most likely. So for anybody out there that tried to mine Nexa and just got frustrated with it and gave up, there you go. That's what you need to do. Anyways, that's all I got for this video, guys. Hope you enjoy the content. Do me a favor, hit that like and hit the subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh yeah, almost forgot to mention. Uh, the AMD saga with the 7900 XTX uh, throttling. So AMD did put out a statement and I just wanted to read that to you guys. They said, we are working to determine the root cause of the unexpected throttling experienced by some while using the AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX graphics card made by AMD. Based on our observations to date, we believe the issues related to thermal solution used in the AMD reference design and it appears to be present in a limited number of the cards sold. We are committed to solving this issue for impacted cards. Customers experiencing this unexpected throttling should contact AMD support here. But ironically, uh, according to, uh, what is it? Uh, classical technology, I, I can't remember the name of the channel, but he mentioned that he tried to go to this and the the website is down. It says it's under maintenance and won't be back up uh, for a day or two. So um, yeah, if you have one of these, I feel for you. Hopefully they'll get this issued. And it, it's funny that they say based on their observations to date, you know, what testing did they do? I mean, if they did any testing, they would have known in advance before they shipped these cards out. Uh, that it was an issue, but they shipped them out anyway, and it was up to the community to figure out what was wrong with it. And it's very unfortunate for AMD, especially when, with the launch of the 4070 Ti. Uh, this looks really bad, so if you guys have one of these cards, good luck with that. 